Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I am back again doing your April 2016 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their Ascendant Sun or Moon in the lovely Krabby Pants Cancer. And um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I post videos twice a month, uh, in the beginning of the month and mid-month. I am going to be trying to phase out my mid-month readings, so if you don't see a mid-month post, you'll know why. Um, I'm also trying to do more sex and relationship videos, um, but those are also hit and miss. So, um, you know, just kind of stay tuned. It's it's really good if you subscribe, that way you can fi find out when I am posting. Um, you know, I am, I'm pretty much on time with my schedule as far as doing the general readings. I always get out the general readings by the first, second, or third of the month. I try to, and sometimes I get them out a little bit early too. But, um, and these videos are gonna remain free for everyone. My sex and relationship videos are for purchase. Um, you have to actually buy them or rent slash rent them. Uh, you get 72 hours to rent them. So there's been a little confusion about that. I just want to make sure everybody un understands that they are for purchase only. Uh, these videos, these general readings are going to remain free, but those are separate and purchase. Um, also, I did delete my members page on my website because people were still posting comments. Um, my website was never meant to be the place to book a reading. Uh, the only way to book a reading is by contacting me via email, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. That way I can confirm and send an invoice um, to you uh, and communicate with you prior to the reading. So. Um, that's how I do it. Um, people that post comments on my website, will, they will be deleted and um, I will try to send an email to you, probably get an email saying, hey, you know, please don't go <laughs> post a comment on my website, but I'd love to schedule you anyway. So, um, you know, let me know if you'd like to get a private reading. I'd love to get you scheduled. Um, again, my email is elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. Um, so, let's see. What you guys get now, this is for everyone with their sun at center moon in Cancer for the month of April 2016. And since I did record this video prior, my main reason for re-recording it was lighting issues. It's always lighting issues with the Cancer videos. But also, um, the issue I fe felt was I was feeling a strong resistance to what I was saying. And I felt like I could deliver in a better way. So I'm going to try to re-deliver, I feel like, the same message, uh, same messages. But um, it's always about delivery, you know, uh, I think. For, for me, especially, sometimes I'm trying to get something out and trying to communicate it. It's kind of a delicate balance because I am very, like, I, I want to tell you what's in the cards, but at the same time, and what I'm and I'm channeling, at the same time, I feel like cancers are very sensitive to to messages, and I felt like there's more messages that need to come through, and there's more of like a better delivery that I can do. So, uh, working hard here <laughs> to do it over again. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lay out this spread. Um, I do feel strongly that some of you are in a relationship to an Aries. Or a Leo, okay? Um, I felt that before, and I do feel that again, okay? Um, so, the thing that I saw before, in the reading before, was the cards that were showing me what were... Um, the path that you're on coming to an end, when the outcome's a no card, it's a sort of like a dead end. So that means you're gonna have to switch directions. That means you're gonna have to make some choices. That means you're gonna have to choose to do things differently and to switch gears. So speaking of switching gears, um, your the, the card that's crossing you and the heartbeat of what I call the heartbeat of the reading is the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I call it the free will card that you see. There's a lot of writing on it. It's a beautiful card, actually, but I see this as sort of like a giant clock. Um, there's gears. If this was like a magical clock, there'd be a lot of gears inside. Um, you can see there's a lot of intricate detail inside the center of the card there. So 
I feel like cancers kind of do have an interesting relationship to time. Uh, because they are a water sign and because they are very, a lot of times, focused on the past. They have a difficult time with time in the present. Um, and then they can really start to fantasize too much about the future and nothing really happens. <laughs> so, you know, so that's kind of that, how they... That's how they interact with time. It's just an interesting dynamic with time. Um, some of you, you know, may have like a watch collection or like a clock collection or like, you know, a fascination with time as well. If you do message me. But, um, you know, to me, it's like it is the wheel of fortune or the, what I call the free will card is about spinning the wheel and saying, OK, I'm going to go for it. Um, in this case, also, it's also about making up your mind, making decisions, making things happen. Um, as in my, my other reading that I did for cancer, I felt very strongly that cancers in the month of April, especially in the beginning, are not really making things happen. They're waiting or they're more receptive. They're being in their like kind of receptive mode where they're just waiting for other people to take the action. So it's like you're waiting for somebody to do the, to, to, to do all the work or to, to, to lift all the machinery and you're kind of just supervising. But the thing is, you kind of get back, you got to get back in the game. Uh, I want to say you need to kind of get back into, into life in the sense that you need to engage with life, actively make choices, actively go and do things because you want to do them. Actively make decisions and then act on those and follow through. You need to have more follow through in the month of April. It's really going to really help you if you do that. Um, because you have the five of cups, which I believe is you in the immediate future, which is also looking a girl who's looking in this, in this position, it's actually looking back at the past. Um, and then the outcome is the moon card, which is the dead end. Okay. So to me, these are two, these are two positions which are very blocked. So to me, the month of April is going to be where you kind of start off needing to make decisions and then you can just probably, in a way, it's sort of just like you're going to call it a day and that make it actually don't, you're not going to follow through on any of those decisions. And if you do make a decision, I feel like you're going to lament the decision that you make. May, you may have some, you may have some planets in Libra too, because Libra does that. Uh, Gemini does that. I feel like Libra mostly, but Gemini, Gemini does that sometimes. Um, Pisces can do that because Pisces isn't going in two different directions. Um, so there's this thing about not really knowing where you're going, not really feeling lost because the outcome is the moon. So that's feeling lost. But I feel like the five of cups is about looking out to the sea of life and going, how much longer should I have to wait for things to improve, for things to get better, for me to get the job, for uh, I get to get the call back that I want, to get the relationship that I want, to have the career that I want, to feel fulfilled, to be happy, all those things. And what she needs to do is stop in a way crying or lamenting about what she doesn't have and take action steps to actually making her dreams come true. Whatever that means for you, whatever the dream is, if the dream is getting a better job, then you need to apply to more jobs and heavily. If it means, you know, getting into a relationship, that means you need to revamp your your energy, feng shui your room for love, and go back out into the field and see what you can find and do some heavy, you know, cancers don't really like to do the heavy lifting, I want to say. They don't really do the heavy lifting. It's more like here, la ti da kind of thing. They kind of like, they're. it's not to say that they're not hard working because cancers can be very hard working and they can be very diligent and like excellent at task, tasks and task management and all that. But at the same time, when it comes to their personal, you know, relationships and personal goals and dreams and all that, it can just be unfulfilled a lot of times because they're, they're, um, not putting enough effort into the things that they want. It's like they're, they're dreaming about it or they're crying about it, but they're not actually doing anything to make anything change. Um, especially if you have any strong Pisces in your chart, because I feel like this is, you know, I do see this as Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female. Now, um, if you're watching this for, like, say you're a guy and you're watching this for, you know, you have had a girlfriend that, you know, 
uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you've been talking to, or, you know, she may be, um, you know, waiting for you in some way. Um, there may be someone that's waiting for you. Um, cause this is also a card about waiting, but because there's so many directional cards here, we've got the wheel of fortune, we've got the moon, which is also a cycle, which is spinning. Um, and cancers are, are ruled by the moon. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where things are very cyclical and there's a lot of cycles that your patterns and things that, that you're, uh, you've probably noticed in your life. But to me, this is a cycle that needs to come to an end, but isn't because the moon says you're just going to continue the same old definition of insanity at the same old cycle. And the wheel is saying, the wheel is positive saying, if you want fortune and if you want a relationship and if you want things to change in your life and say you want a new career or a new job or whatever it is that you want, you can go out and get it and you can make it happen. But you just have to stop. You have to actually really take some action, put some blood, sweat and tears into it, put the focus into it, manifest it, you know, work on it. Um, and some people don't, especially when it comes to relationships, cancers don't work on finding one. They just, um, usually end up in a place of, again, <sighs> latching on to whatever they can get, the nearest body, the nearest person, and not really thinking through or manifesting the person that, that they really, that would be really good for them. They're the person that ends up in a relationship for 20 or 30 years that they don't like, that they're unhappy with. Why? Because that person was never who they really wanted to begin with. It was just someone who was pursuing them very heavily. Message me if you have someone in hot pursuit of you. There, there could be someone that's, you know, that wants to be with you, but at the same time, you are either not ready to be with them or... Um, you're just not feeling it. There's just, there's just no vibe there. There's no love there. Um, you want romance. I mean, the universe is trying to send you romance because you have the Empress. The universe is saying you need to reach out. Do you see? She's got this long arm. She's got this crazy long arm. It's sort of stretched. She's got really long fingers. She's like, you need to reach for what you want. You need to reach out into the world and grab it and claim it and saying that is my, mine. Instead of this girl who's not doing anything, she's crying, she's sad, she's lonely, she's standing on the edge of life and going, how much longer, how much longer, when, 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 when? But she's not doing anything. She's not lifting a finger. Literally, you need to reach out and grab what you want from the universe. Pretend that you already have it and it will be yours. Um, if you're constantly saying, I don't have it, I don't have it, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Then the universe can't actually send it to you. Um, this is also being very healing to other people. Um, but when, what needs to happen is you need to heal, heal yourself. Because the Five of Cups to me is a broken heart. So you can't have... It's so interesting. You can't have a broken heart right next to the Empress. You just can't. You have to heal yourself first. There has to be healing first. Um, you, have to, you have to love yourself first before you get into a relationship. So for, if romance and relationship is what you want, you need to love yourself first. You need to have, I want to say a heart healing session with me, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, or you need to work on, you need to work on getting, getting past negative emotions. You may also have a court of attachment to someone who's not good for you, or there may be a person around you that's not so good for you. You've got the devil card um, also in this position. Um, so you may feel trapped or feel like, you know, you can't get out of a relationship. And this is for guys and girls, because the devil's with, there's two people here. So it takes two to tango. So um, there's a lot of female energy in this spread. I don't feel like there's a lot of cancer guys watching this, but you know, if you're a cancer guy and you're watching this, you know, let me know what kind of you're vibing with. It could be that the Empress for you, if you're a cancer guy, is someone that you, um, the universe is, is, is so, someone that you're going to talk to, someone that's going to be around you, someone that you're going to meet, someone that's, that you're going to be friends with, someone that the universe is sending, like as far as a new relationship. But it's going to happen when the universe is darn good and ready to send it to you because um, you got the emperor here too. And the emperor is, in this position, it's, it is being very stubborn. Uh, message me if you have any Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. Um, it is being very stubborn, but it is also 
the universe saying to you, you cannot go down this path. Whatever path that you're going to go down, you can't go down it. And it's leading to the moon, which is, a, it, is it is being lost. It's sort of like the dead end. It's that, that place where you get to and you're kind of like, I have to turn around. I can't keep going with this. So if you were to continue on, let's just say you were to try to continue in a romantic relationship with someone that isn't so good for you or someone that you're really not into or someone who's broken your heart in the past, it's not going to work out. I'm telling you now, it won't work out because the universe is going to tell you, no, it's just not going to work. Um, for those of you who are single, uh, this may be a lot, I feel like it's a strong career thing too. It's a, it's a strong, not sure what to do with your life plan, like coming up with a life plan. I feel like it's, it needs to, it needs to happen. It needs to be on the menu for you. Um, uh, figuring what the plan is going to be, what the next steps are for yourself as far as career, as far as what you want to do. And some people, they are just not. Again, I feel like Cancer doesn't research as much as they need to. Like Taurus, again, there's a strong Taurus vibe here too where you're not online researching. You're not online looking, 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 looking every day. You're, you're, this is you. This is you just kind of going like this. When is it coming? When is it coming? And you're not looking, looking, looking. You need to look, look, look. You need to research. You need to dig. You need to be a digger. Dig for information and you'll find it. You need to, what I call, fall, what, what, I call it falling down the rabbit hole, okay? Now, in your case, because you have the moon, <clears throat> I feel like in a way you've already fallen down the rabbit hole. You may have fallen down the, I call it the rabbit hole, of a relationship that's not going anywhere. And it's sort of like you went through all the motions and it felt sort of normal right in the moment, but actually it's not, okay? That's falling down the rabbit hole, coming to an end of a relationship, and it's, it's a no-go. <clears throat> Um, you may have fallen down the rabbit hole in career as well, where you tried something and it's not really what you want, not really like what you're vibing with. It's not what you love to do. It pays some bills, but it's not what you love to do. It's sort of like if you went back to school for something and <clears throat> let's just say you went back to school for being, to become an auto mechanic. Okay. Let's just say as a crazy example. Okay. Um, and that's what you went to school for. Uh, that's what you went back to school for. And, and you're just not vibing it. You know, you got, you got into it, you got a job doing it, and it's just not what you love. You're just not loving it as much as you, maybe you thought you would. So that's falling down the rabbit hole. Doing something and going down a certain path and thinking at the time that it was great, but reality is it's, it's a no-go. You have to switch directions. You have to do something else. It's the universe. I call the universe splitting the hair. It's sort of like a split hair. It's where you... You know, you're kind of, you're almost there, but you need to take one step. It's like one step in a different direction. So I got this, the moon card a lot when I was working for a psychic network prior to me doing any YouTube videos. And the only difference between me working for the psychic network and doing my YouTube videos was me literally showing my face to the world. Um, that was it. That was the only difference, you know, I was reading for people, but I wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't really, and people didn't know who I was. I had like a, a code name or whatever, and, and people didn't know it was me. And so reading for them. So, um, the interesting thing is that, um, you know, I, I didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to, but when I do my YouTube videos, it really worked out as you can tell it was who has worked out. So I... I do feel that if it's, a, if it's something, it may be something very similar to what you've done in the past, or it may be something completely different. And I know that's going to be confusing for some of you, but this is how the moon card is. And this is a general reading. The moon card, in my mind, for some people, it's the split hair. It's doing something very similar to what you were doing, but it's actually going to, it's showing your, putting your best face forward. Um, it's coming out of that that hole in the ground and coming out of going out of the world and, and putting, putting yourself out there. Um, if you're kind of still hiding in some way, or you're kind of still, um, you know, shy in some way, the universe is saying, put your best face forward, go out, be in per go in person. Um, definitely go in person. Um, this is also in some cases having that polarized, not really a polarized like attitude or perspective on 
holding it on, um, I want to say holding your heart out to the world or not at all. So it's that thing where you're like, either you're too vulnerable and like you're putting your, you're wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and somebody just comes along and crushes it because you're just wearing your heart on your sleeve constantly, or you're totally completely guarded where people don't even know how you feel. People don't even know who you are because there's the wall. You, people can't connect to you emotionally. So you have, so you're polarized in sort of in this heart kind of, um, or emotional kind of way <clears throat> because uh, you're going you're going back and forth. Um, some of you are wearing your heart on your sleeve and you're getting crushed. Others are being too guarded and nobody knows how they feel. Nobody knows. Uh, and the universe is saying to you, you need to find the balance in between. Know when to be vulnerable. That's part of being a cancer. Know when to be vulnerable. Know when to be guarded. Know when to protect yourself and know when to put yourself out there. Um... I feel like some of you, like to me, it's doing a job just to do it, the devil card for the devil card, but it can also be a relationship that you need to break away from, something that you need to get out of, um, and it's just not healthy. I, I want to say it's just not healthy. Um, and some of you, again, the issue of time is very strong here. I don't know why I keep going back to that, but, you know, to wish for the emperor, because I, I pulled... <clears throat> Another card with the wish card is locking up with the emperor. And to me, that's like getting what you want uh, when it, when you want it. And it's not going to happen. I'm telling you that now. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because to have the eight of wands be the emperor, no. No, no, no. It's your, it's like sort of like you're wishing for something that maybe you can't have or you're wishing for something that isn't good for you or you're wishing for something to happen when you want it. You're like, it has to happen now. And that totally blocks it that blocks it. So I can tell you that and normally the eight of wands is whatever it is that you're wishing for, you'll get. I feel like for you, you may get more time on something. There may be something that you may get more time on. Um, you get, but I do believe that, I mean, that's the one thing I feel like you will get, but I think the thing you won't get is that if you are like, it has to happen now, you're not going to get whatever it is when you're, when you're locked, when you're kind of locked into that perspective. And later in April, I feel like you're going to be really caught up and heartbroken about something, like really, really bad. Um, again, th this is going to cause you some serious strife, serious strife. There's some serious, someone's, I feel like someone's going to break your heart because I do believe some of you were wearing your heart in your sleeve. Some of you wore your heart in your sleeve and you're getting heartbroken because maybe the lesson was that was why fate kind of is there. Maybe the lesson was not to wear your heart in your sleeve or to find the balance between all or nothing, you know, that black or white situation. <sighs> Some of you are, um, you know, working on health related issues because you have the four of swords crowning you. So it's a health related. Some, some of the stuff is health related. Um, go, you know, that's what's going on. Some of you need to just kind of take a rest. Um, take some R and R time, you know, not work as maybe you're taking some time off of work. Maybe it would be good to take some time off of work. Um, to me, there's a lot of health stuff here mixed in with this, you know, kind of confusion about relationships and where you're going with things and then confusion with career and where you're going with things. And, and, you know, you know, it's like the universe is saying to you, we're sending you love. We're sending you this, or we're sending you a person who's very artistic and very creative. And we're sending you this, this amazing person, but you're either in another relationship. So you can't appreciate that person or you are, um, confused about that person or you're confused about what to do um, in your own life. So to me, this is almost like the Empress is like a standalone card. It feels very standalone. It feels like she's just kind of hanging out. She's just like, you know, I'm here when you're ready. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I don't feel like she's really you. Although some of you are very creative and you need to be more creative and use more, you know, get in touch with more of your artistic talents. Some of you are artists. 
Um, but I feel like you're so wrapped up in all these other things that your talents, whatever, you know, if you're artistic, creative, your talents are just kind of being set aside. You might not even be, like you may be an artist, but you may not be actually painting or drawing or doing photography, anything. You may be doing, the, again, like a job just to do it for the money and it's just bringing you so much heartache. And if you are an artist... And really, if you are an artist, you need to kind of figure out a way to make your art work for you, um, whatever that is, financially, okay? You need to find a way to do something that's creative, I feel. Uh, for those of you who aren't artists, um, I feel one of you is an actress, actually. I feel very strongly. I felt it before, and I'll, I feel it again. There's someone that's watching that's an actress. Um... And some of you, some of you cancers, cancer guys are in a relationship to a very strong Aries, Capricorn, or Taurus female. I feel like there's a strong Aries, Capricorn, or Taurus vibe here. Um, because we have the Queen of Wands here. And the Queen of Wands in the center to me is, um, you know, I feel like ca cancer guys, you may have put her, you know, at the center of your world. You know, this is your whole world revolves around this person. Um, there may be some temptation issues on her part, okay? There may be some, I want to say temptation to cheat on her part. Um, she also may have some, like, there may be some, like, um, I feel like she has a food, a problem with food. It's one of those people that has like a food, like obsession with food. You may have an obsession with food too. If you're a cancer, like female, and you have like a strong, you know, again, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries in your chart, this could be you, okay? Um, but I do feel like cancer guys, because she's at the center, that that is like your partner or that's been your girlfriend. I don't necessarily feel like that's going to continue. That relationship with her is going to continue. I feel like that's going to come to an end because again, we have so many blocks here that I feel like even if you do want a relationship with her, it's not, it's fated not to be, it's fated not to happen. It's fated to like, to go away. <laughs> that's all I want to say. <laughs> so, um, and the queen of wands is also, again, this is Sagittarius Leo or, uh, you know, or Aries, there's strong fire. To me, the four of, four of swords person is also a Leo a lot of times. And the Empress can be a Leo. So there's a strong Leo vibe. Guy or girl, doesn't matter. Um, it's still there. It's still present um, there. But <clears throat> I just, I feel like that, if you are in a relationship with them, again, it's not going to ha it's not going to go forward. If you are, sorry, there's a lot of fruit flies in my apartment. I had a whole bunch of avocado trees that I had been growing from seed and I was watering them and watering them and watering them and the fruit flies just like totally took over and I had to go actually take the plants outside and plant them. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, and, <laughs> and the fruit flies are still in here a little bit. So pardon me if I'm waving away fruit, fruit flies. They're just really annoying. Um, but, um, Going back to what I was saying. I was saying something before I was really interrupted by the fruit flies. Um, Leo, relationship, being in a relationship with a Leo. Uh, oh, I was saying if you have like strong, you may have some strong fire in your chart. Um, cancer females, you know. Um, but there's a lot of different females here, you know. So I feel like for cancer guys... Um, either you're dating or, you know, you're going to be dating several people or, um, I, I, I want to say the person, <laughs> this is not going to come off good for you guys, but the person that maybe you've been dating or you've been dating a couple of people and that, that really, those relationships are not going to work out because you got the queen of swords as a foundation here and queen of swords is Aquarius or Capricorn female. Um, and I feel like she's totally different than the queen of wands. They're two different energies. Uh, can you sometimes be the same person, but, um, when it comes to people, they're two different people. So, you know, you may have dated the queen of swords, that relationship came to an end. You may have dated the queen of wands, that may relationship is going to come to an end. And you may end up dating the empress and that you got to be careful because the empress is pregnancy also. So if you date the empress, she could get pregnant. Okay. I'm just saying, um, if, if, She's of childbearing age, okay? Um, and then then that relationship also is not going to go anywhere. So 
And, and ladies, this could be the same sort of frustration. It could go both ways where you may have been with a guy and, you know, recently and it's, and it's come, it's coming to an end. The relationship's coming to an end. You may, you know, find another guy and that relationship also may come to an end. So the, the issues with dating, I feel like are present here. Strong issues with dating, just like not really having short relationships and not like having maybe a long-term relationship that you want, um, and feeling maybe frustrated because you don't have the relationship that you want. You do also have the Knight of Cups showing up in the position of emotions. And the Knight of Cups is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra male. So it could be you, um, and Cancer guys, you know, this is you kind of riding things out, letting things kind of, you know, roll off you. Um, this is also alcohol issues. In some cases, and this can also be because we have the devil here. You, some of you may be alcoholics or recovering alcoholics, um, but I feel like, or just kind of have an alcohol problem. Um, but or this can also be the love triangle, and because the moon is the outcome, that's that's shade, that's lies, that's deception. It's in the worst case scenario, and because we have the devil here too. Um, Either you or your partner, there is some some deception by you or your partner, okay? I feel like it's actually on both sides. I do. I don't feel like it's just your partner. I feel like it's it's you too. There's something, if you're in a relationship, I feel like it's both people. Now, if you are single, um, you may be involved in some kind of affair type situation, Um or scandalous type situation where there's deception on some level. Um, cancer ladies, I feel like this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio Libra man that you have your eye on, okay? That you have your eye on. And there may be some sort of short-term romance with this person, um, but I don't feel like it's going to go long-term. I just don't. Um, there's, there's a lot of dead ends in April, so there's a lot of starts and stops. So this is the kind of thing where you need to kind of roll, the, you need to let things kind of just play out and see how things go, but also at the same time, um, and that's in relationships, don't get stuck at any one person, that's what I want to say. And in relationships, um, and in your personal life, you need to make some decisions and actually make things change and do things a little bit different than, than maybe you've done them before. Um, and I feel like that's going to change things for you. And realize that at some point you are going to find love and you are going to be in a relationship and you are going to get what you want. And claim that from the universe. Um, you just need to take more action to kind of getting there, I feel. Um, and some of you don't even know how to meet people, like how to meet guys. And, and, and so this is something that you need to work on. Um, I feel like strongly counselors need to do things within their community, whether it's working with, um, you know, people at their, uh, what's it called, local community center, or uh, doing something like Habitat for Humanity, where there's like, you know, groups of people getting together um, for like a charitable cause, things like that, um, that might actually, you know, where you're introdu getting introduced to a lot of different people, and you might actually meet someone. I also feel like in some cases, you can meet someone through like a community, like a church community, I want to say, I wanted to say church community. Um, as well, even if, if some of you are more spiritual and not religious, um, I feel like it's more of a social thing that you'll meet. You can meet people, whether it's a, a barbecue or a get together, or it's like a it's like a um, you know a friend of a friend um, that kind of thing. Um, that's important. Put the, put your feelers out there. Put your pinchers out there and see what you get. Uh, and let me know if you come back with come back empty ended or not. <laughs> by May. I think it's just that you're going through a process right now in April where it's just, again a lot of starts and stops. You're learning what's what you do want and what you don't want in relationships and that's very crucial. Um, if you have been in relationships for a long time then you're then you're learning what you do and you don't want because obviously I mean you do learn a lot from long-term relationship but 
Um, when you have a lot of short, short term relationships, it's almost sort of like if you were moving a lot. If so, some of you, if you've moved a lot in your lifetime, uh, I've moved a lot. So it's like after every single move, you kind of get used to moving. You kind of get into that swing. You're kind of like, okay, I'm going to get the plastic tubs. I'm going to pack it up this way. And it, it kind of becomes easier. So for cancer, the universe kind of is sort of loosening you up a little bit in this way. So you're kind of understanding, okay, this is how you break up with someone. This is how you date someone. Not everything lasts forever. So it's to me, it's a process of learning that. Um, and some of you, it's hard because you may kind of, I, I mean, I don't feel like in the month of April, there's any one in particular person that you really are vibing with, that you're really in love with. I don't see that. So you need to be careful of not convincing yourself that there is something more to a relationship than than it than is there. Um, and kind of just see it as, okay, I'm going to move again, and I'm going to pack up, I'm going to move on. And that's kind of how it has to be. So um, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, Google Plusing. That's all for now. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter or at Oracle Daphne um, because it, it does, you know, I do post on there quite a lot. And uh, I'll let people know what's going on with my channel. And um, yeah, I will be back again for more videos. So stay tuned. I send you big hugs. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care. All the best.